Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taste of whiskey.com and today we have a special release from Glen Morangy called A Tale of the Forest. It's priced well below 100, carries no age statement, it's 46% ABV and it belongs to the, well, the varying special bottlings and production of Glenmorangie and uh, in this case we do not have a special cask or something like that but a different drying of the malt and this is done via botanicals like with a gin but not uh, during the distillation process that's not allowed with scotch whiskey but for the drying of the malt. So here we uh, dry with uh, pine needles, uh, Wacholder, uh, what's the name in English of Wacholder, and uh, well, typical smoke from wood. This is the main influence and then the whiskey is matured in ex bourbon casks. Have a look at this wonderful box, it was made by a artist called Pom Chan, it's from Thailand and she's a well-known artist for these paintings. Crafted from barley, kilned with woodland botanicals. So that's called uh, A Tale of the Forest. And do they tell which botanicals? Ah, um, Dr. Bill brought back an ancient method of kilning barley with botanicals. In this case, juniper, this is Wacholder, uh, berries, uh, birch bark and the heather blossom. Heather is quite often uh, smelled in whiskies. So this is very typically a bottle for the collectors and whoever started to collect those special bottlings or was it called private collection something in former times? Limited edition, they say here. Um, should as well have this one. Mm -hmm. Fruity and not that smoky. So whoever thought that this would be a hefty smoky glamorangi? No, I don't think so. What I smelled so far from. Yeah, there is a light smell of smoke in it with different aromas, but very faint. If I had to say how many ppms that is, 5 ppm, maximum 10, not that much, no. Sweet Malt, of course, it's a malt whiskey, biscuit, floral notes, and then there is this forest smell of wet, damp forest. And with the 46% ABV, a little bit a touch of a coolness. The alcohol shows some coolness in it, like mint. And very soft smokiness, a little bit more intense now. Yeah, cheers. Hmm. This is awesome. How do they do that? It's spicy, it's peppery. Wow, strong. Um, they have the tallest pot stills in, in Scotland with six meters height and they uh, divide or separate the alcohol vapors very much from other uh, compounds which lead to, to sharpness or something like that. So, so this is weird for a Glenmorangie. A little bit of what's called resin, wood resin. Yeah, a little bit of oranges, more bergamot, like bitter oranges. 
a little vanilla. Yeah, very long, very lasting aftertaste. Light citrus notes, oranges. And the aftertaste is spicy, uh, oaky notes, but there's no bitterness and this hefty peppery note in the first attack on the tongue is gone. Yeah. This is very untypical for a Glenmorangie. I had these stronger spicy notes in the 18-year-old, I think. Yeah. This was different to the normal, very smooth, very elegant Glenmorangies. Mm -hmm. I had a little fear because I do not like juniper at all. It's, it's a no-go, an absolute no-go for me. So this is why I do not like gin personally. And if you, I find a, a juniper berry uh, in some, yeah, uh, how it's called, some deer or some wild pork uh, meat, then wah, it's horrible for me. Yeah, that's for today. No juniper in it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.